Nigerian authorities are working to determine who's behind back-to-back -back bombings that ripped through a central city. More than 100 people died. Some are pinning blame on Boko Haram, the Islamist militant group that kidnapped more than 200 schoolgirls last month. NHK World's Craig Dale reports. The first car bomb went off in the middle of the afternoon, reducing a busy part of the central city to rubble. The second exploded about 30 minutes later, just as people were helping the victims. I saw the explosion up. But the number of people I saw that were pieces and they were scattered in the car, they were taking them out. No one has claimed responsibility, but investigators see the work of Boko Haram. The extremist group is fighting to create an Islamic state in Nigeria where half the population is Christian. Boko Haram attracted worldwide attention after its members kidnapped more than 200 girls last month from this school in a remote northern village. Their leader threatened to sell the teens into slavery. The families of the abductees are struggling to stay hopeful. I thought that by now they would have done something. Unfortunately, nothing. Nigerian leaders are relying on foreign help to track down the girls. Their army is working with battalions from neighboring countries in West Africa, and they're getting logistical support from the U.S., Britain, and France. Lawmakers have also extended a state of emergency in three northern states, giving security forces more powers to combat the insurgency. Our troops and our military personnel and uh, all the other security agencies will not be able to operate to curb this menace if we don't have emergency powers within that um, uh, zone. Human rights activists say the missing schoolgirls are complicating the campaign to crush Boko Haram. They are now there as human shield and you cannot shoot at Boko Haram without shooting at the girls. Despite the odds, some Nigerians are staying positive the girls will be found. We believe the girls are safe, we believe the girls are alive, and we believe with the tremendous support the Nigerian military is getting, we believe that the girls will be rescued and returned home. Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan says every necessary measure should be taken to locate the schoolgirls. In response to the bombings in Jos, he said his government is fully committed to winning the war on terror. Boko Haram attacks have killed more than 1,000 people this year alone. Craig Dale, NHK World.